Our out of this world lead is a story that might rock the world. NASA and the European Space Agency are both upping the odds on a newly discovered asteroid hitting Earth in seven years. The space rock is named 2024 YR4. Our next guest studies asteroids and even has a main belt asteroid renamed in her honor. That would be NASA's acting planetary defense officer, Dr. Kelly Fast. Dr. Fast, what more do we know about this asteroid? Well, there's actually good news, Jake, because the latest observations from last night have actually revised the impact probability downward. And so it just shows that the system is working, that the activities of NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office and the worldwide community, uh, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, and this is good news. So it's 3.1%, the, the, the odds, right, the, the chance that this asteroid will hit or that's still pretty slim, but it's not nothing 3.1%. So ease our, fe ease our fears. What would happen if YR4 does in fact hit Earth? Hmm. Well, the latest actually, and, and this is kind of hot off the presses again today, it's down at one and a half percent. Oh, okay. And you can find more at uh, nasa.gov slash planetary defense. But we don't know until we know. And so that's why it's important to keep tracking it every night. And uh, it is of a size that could do damage should it impact. And so that's why NASA does spend the time to search the skies, searching for asteroids that could pose a future impact threat to Earth and to determine their orbits. And just so we have that luxury of time of knowing, just like in this situation with 2024 YR4, very small impact probability, but something that we want to keep an eye on. What are scientists doing now to learn more about the asteroid? And is there anything that can be done uh, outside of, you know, sending Ben Affleck and Bruce Willis into space to blow it up? <laughs> Well, we, we are still in that information gathering stage and at NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office and all the different projects that, that are funded to do this work to track asteroids and calculate their orbits. That's ongoing as well as um, our European Space Agency colleagues and many others within the International Asteroid Warning Network that NASA coordinates. And so that's really the first order of planetary defense is to get that information to know is there something that could pose a threat? And then if we, uh, in any given situation, we always say it depends on the asteroid, um, on how far in advance it's found, its size, its orbit. And so as we're gathering information in this case, that would inform whether there could be an option in space, let's say with a spacecraft, or even just knowing uh, where it could uh, impact on the Earth, kind of like with, with storms and such. Or as we're finding, you know, the odds are very high that it's just going to pass right by the Earth. So, Doc, I, I, I'm assuming if this is seven years away and we know about it, it's pretty big. Um, how big? <sighs> Well, based on the brightness of the asteroid, it's estimated to be about 40 to 90 meters in size. And so that's a decent size, but it's not even as large as the objects that uh, NASA has been tasked to find, the 140 meter and larger asteroids. We want to find all of them that could pose a future impact threat. It's a way of kind of judging our progress, what kind of progress we're making. So as even finding something this size is really valuable because even though our atmosphere does a very good job protecting us and disintegrating the stuff that can come in uh, from, from outside Earth's atmosphere, uh, this is something that could uh, do blast damage. It would uh, maybe not reach the ground intact, uh, but could do damage in any case. And so that is why we are continuing to try to gather as much information as possible, uh, even in this situation where the impact probability is so low. All right, Dr. Kelly Fast from uh, NASA. Thank you so much. Uh, fascinating stuff.